This exhibition, Rembrandt, uh, The Embrace of Darkness and Light, is a very important exhibition for the Nevada Museum of Art, primarily because it brings to northern Nevada one of the most prestigious collections of etchings and works on paper uh, by Rembrandt. Rembrandt, during his career, um, created about 300 etchings, so this um, signifies a, a good portion of what he produced um, over his lifetime. We have a range of subject matters uh, represented in the exhibition. Uh, he, uh, on view will be a number of biblical etchings, uh, both from the Old and New Testament, which are quite interesting and detailed and fun to kind of see his interpretations of stories from the Bible. Then there's a number of portraits also, and we see everything from portraits of his mother, which are very deeply felt. Uh, some of his earliest portraits were of his mom. And then there are self-portraits as well, and everything from his depiction of uh, himself as a beggar um, on the street showing that he really identified with some of the lower classes to um, portraits of him mid-career after he'd achieved great fame in Amsterdam and so you have um, depictions of him really uh, dressed lavishly as a, a very successful artist trying to sort of convey a different message so there's a really wide range of, of works on view in the exhibition. a very inquisitive, um, improvisational, um, almost eccentric artist. Sometimes you'll be looking at uh, these biblical scenes and right in the foreground there's a little child sort of doodling on the ground as though he's not listening. For example, in the uh, representation of the story of Adam and Eve, if you look very, very closely in the back of those prints, he sketched a little tiny elephant, something you'd never expect. And so there's just a really um, great number of surprises that you'll encounter if you really get a chance to spend uh, time with these works. This museum has always been about uh, trying to make an outreach effort to the community and this represents a really major effort on the museum's part to try to bring a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to the community. I mean, a hundred and over a hundred etchings by Rembrandt all in the same place at the same time are really, really hard to come by even if you were at the great museums of the world. So we are very interested in trying to make those opportunities available and at the same time we recognize that Rembrandt's four centuries removed from us and we need our job, my job, is to try to help people uh, bring that life of that time period uh, to reality and see what the, what the life and history of that time was like. A Rembrandt studio here which is recreated for the public to kind of get a sense of how Rembrandt's uh, working space looked full of exotic collections of unusual objects. 